Hey there! Making a Genially is a real sensory experience. Interactivity, audio, video, and plenty more. All without leaving your creation. Let me show you. From the menu on the left, click on Insert. In the Audio tab, you'll see the options available for your plan. If you have a premium plan, you can upload audio from your computer. Otherwise, create one right here. Pretty cool, right? Click Record, grant permission to access your microphone, and say your message. Three, two, one, ignition. Click to finish and you're good to go. In the menu on the right, you can personalize the player with autoplay, loop, or repeat. Oh, and you can hide the player, which is useful for adding audios you definitely don't want people to skip. Make sure to activate autoplay as well so that it can be heard. You can also have your audio in the background throughout your creation, in case you want to act as a tour guide through the corners of your Genially. From the canvas, you can also add audios you've recorded or from a link as background audio. When you present your Genially, your audience will be able to hear whatever you want them to. How does that sound so far? Well, it doesn't end there. You can also add songs, podcasts, or any other audio format from the main providers. All you have to do is include the link. It's almost too easy. And of course, we can't forget about videos in your Genially. Either to make your Genially more dynamic or simply because you love this video. Who wouldn't? Go to the video tab and choose your preferred option. Paste the link and then select the playback options. Automatic, on loop, or without audio. Something else that's super useful is that you can decide from what second of the video you want it to start playing to get straight to the point. You can also upload a video from Drive. Just grant access and then find the video in your folders. All the audios and videos you want without jumping around to other platforms. Isn't it just a real treat for the senses?